Welcome, everybody. It is the Paul Rodriguez Show. It is the 9th of November, 2021. Waiting for the college football rankings to come out. Uh, you're probably watching the show and watching them as they come out simultaneously. But um, how was everybody's night, James? Your, uh, you know, red gummy kind of made its its exit. How was the night? Did you feel anything residual when you went home after leaving the uh, studio? Yeah. Oh yeah. What happened? Uh dude, my stomach, I was like I was in pain, dude. Like you put a you put that like shit. pissed off red emoji. Like, is that you were kind of feeling that way? Yeah. Well, I, I think that's the hot. He, he's oh. red and he has his tongue out, and then there's like the little drop on his head. Yeah, it's yeah. like Yeah, but um yeah, it sucked, man. I was I was um I bet. I was just laying on my side, like in the fetal position, watching uh, no. Netflix. Not 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 like in the full fetal, but I was just like it just like kept it it was like it was like throbbing in my stomach, dude. Yeah. yeah, and uh, imagine if you would have swallowed it whole, it probably would have made it mm. worse. It could have because it take longer to like uh, to like digest, right? Might have came out whole. <laughs> I would have rather just one one. Think uh, about that coming out, like, but think about your esophagus going down. Think about it coming. I could. Li- I was out. telling my girl like I could. <laughs> What's his face? My girl was like, "Is it like?" She's like, "Is it still in your stomach?" But I feel like I could track it. Like I was like, "It feels like it's not in my stomach no more." Like it's starting to like. It wasn't like up here. It uh-huh. was like it was like in the middle of my like stomach. You, you could know? feel it. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm never. I'm, I'm, never, bad, I'm, I'm never doing that again, dude. I'm not doing that again. Well, I would. I would. I would have done it in the first place. Well, why, why not though? Is it just because it's hot or first? For, first of all, my ass is too old. For this but I thought you shit, liked you know? hot sauce and you like hot food. I, 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 and it, it it hurts me too. I oh, get, you okay. Know, but it, so that would be extreme. No, no, thank you. Yeah, well, you know, speaking of uh, speaking of booties, last night we had some odd flags called in the Monday night game between the Bears and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Big Ben looked. Did y'all see that third down? He tried to convert running the ball, and he looked like he was Grandpa Joe, like trying to slowly move his walker down the field. I mean, he looked so slow. Uh, but there was a huge questionable taunting call that led to a hip check that led to a flag and i'm calling it the booty flag because apparently tony Carenti thinks it's okay to like make rear contact with the side of a player in the middle of a nationally televised football game and i just think that's highly sus but why the hell does he have to be so dramatic with his flag toss after he does a little hip check into the pelvic region of an nfl football player for my and question, my question is, Wes, what the hell is going on with Tony Carrente here? I don't know. He, he threw that flag late, too, because the dude is already, he went, he, well, he does his little whatever. He looks at the Steelers' sideline, and then he starts to run back. Then he booty checks him. Then he throws the flag. So, that, I mean, that's kind of, that's real suspect right there, man. I mean, uh, is, is somebody in his ear saying, hey, you need to throw a flag for what he just did? But come on, man. I Dudes do that all the time. You know, you just kind of look over at the sideline. You don't really say anything. You just give them that look like, hey, I did something. And then you go back to your, your sideline. That, I, that was a horrible flag. It I was mean, it was like a it was like a pelvic thrust, but reverse, right? James is like, what this what the hell is this dude thinking? Yeah. Um, and it seemed like also, correct me if I'm wrong, that he had his hand on the flag as like he had his hand on the flag little, and then little, and then he like went back and then he like threw it up like he knew what was about to happen like a little tease <laughs> little, little little tease and then throw that's the way i got it yeah that's what it looked like to me that guy needs to be investigating i mean it, i think t- okay listen if an nfl player makes contact oh, why don't we got my hands up like this like i'm over here about to get all hippity hype uh, <laughs> Hidge is hidge. It's a hidge call. Okay. I just don't understand if a player made contact with the NFL referee, that dude would instantly be fined yep. tens of thousands of dollars and yep. immediately disqualified. Tony Crancy gets to finish the game, and I haven't heard a word on why the hell this dude has not been suspended by the NFL. And hell, is it just because? The geriatrics want to go ahead and start calling this and calling this and taking out the emotion of NFL football games on a weekly basis. What the hell are they thinking, Wes? This, he should be suspended, well, right? Yeah, I, I think he should. He Well, they need to start finding these refs yes. when they mess up calls. Because what happens to NFL players when they do something wrong? They get fines. They get 
penalty. With the quickness. The refs need to be accountable for some of the stuff that they do because, you know, they're causing people to, to lose ball games, which eventually cause people to lose jobs. So you – you, you got to, the NFL has got to look at this and say, hey, you know, you guys have got to be accountable for messing up stuff and possibly messing up somebody's career with these horrible, horrible calls, you know, and, you know, especially when he's, he's making contact with somebody like that, dude, you can't do that. It doesn't matter and it shouldn't matter where the contact came from. We're just trying to make a little bit of spectacle out of it. But any contact is highly inappropriate because if you don't want, as an authority figure, if you don't want anybody making contact with you, you should reciprocate the, not, that and not make any contact with anybody else on the f- field that's unwarranted. And in this case, it was extremely inappropriate. It was at the wrong time of the call. And then you add insult to injury. You're going to call a questionable taunting call when the dude just made a big play and gets up and just yells and has an emotional reaction. What is he supposed to do? Let me just go ahead and turn around and jog back to the sideline. Like nothing ever happened. That's not how these dudes make their money. That's not why these guys get massive contracts. They go out, their job is to go out there and perform and make a big play, have an emotional reaction, which therefore means the fans have emotional reactions. Then those fans will go by the product because they had a big emotional reaction because of their big team that just made a play. It just, I don't know. I don't know if advertisers are getting in the way. I don't know if parents are getting in the way with youth football. If there's a certain demographic that thinks that, well, it sure would be nice if we didn't have these players yelling at each other after a play. A little Jimmy doesn't like that, and I think it's not a good example for little Jimmy and Sally at home, oh, which is just pure nonsense. Yeah, but, I mean, it's all about this new uh, culture, I guess. You know, maybe they're thinking, oh, well, we don't want him to hurt the other sideline's feelings by showing them up. You know, that's the kind of... That's kind of how they're, they think now. You right. know, you, you're hurting the other team's feelings. But, you know, in our days, like, you don't want that dude to do that. You know what? Stop making bonehead plays. Win Perfect. the game. You know, make better plays. Just like when people talk about the horns down and people getting butt hurt. You know, when people don't do horns down, when the horns are winning, when yep. they're making, when they're scoring. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's right, James. So play yeah. better. Yeah, uh, that's exactly what I tell my kids at home because they play football out there every day, and they'll, you know, someone ends up fighting or and crying. You have, and you have boys in a very close age yeah, range, nine, ten, and eleven, mm-hmm. and so they're out there throwing the pigskin. It's highly competitive, and they're rolling around, and you know, someone comes in that someone's talking mess, and I go investigate and all that, and come to find out, man, you were you just got left in the dust. That's why you're mad. That stings. That hurts. But you don't want to experience that, man. Get out there and. You know, put a hand up. Get that ball, you know. Hey, man, pull somebody down. It's okay. Yeah. You can, they can call a penalty if they got to. That's what I tell them, too. I'm like, hey, you're playing a man sport here, okay? You're going to get you're gonna get bumped. You're going to get pushed. You're going to get tackled. You're going to get come your on, feelings man. hurt. Yeah, come on, man. That don't hurt. Hey, man, listen. I, 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 I think we all have been in highly competitive uh, environments when it comes to sports. And if it's too hot in the kitchen, just get the hell out. If you don't want to be a part of this, Go ahead and make an exit. It's okay to bow out. We'll all know where you stand. We'll all know what's in your heart. But if you want to be in the mix, go out and ball out and continue to do what you're doing. If it's me, I'm telling these players coming up, don't disrespect your opponent in their face. But if you want to turn your back and celebrate and have an emotional reaction because you made a big-ass play, by God, do it. And if these people want to continue to throw penalties, then let them continue to throw penalties because at the end of the day, they're going to only change if you keep doing what you're doing and people don't stop spending money. Because if people stop spending money, then it's going to be an issue. But I don't think attendance is up. NFL just signed a $100 billion deal with their networks. Money looks to be fine in the NFL. I just don't understand why this stupid bullshit call for taunting has to be the point of emphasis, the point of interest for the 2021 season, James. Um. Yeah, I used to watch because, you know, I watched a lot of basketball. Not so much now, but, you know, I still keep up with it. Basketball and um, I used to look at, like, NFL, and I'm like, dude, um, they let them get away with a lot of stuff as opposed to, like, basketball. Once you start, like, pushing and shoving, you know, the flags, uh, the, the the technicals start flying and right. all of that stuff, you know. And But as of late, I'm like, dude, like, 
what the fuck is going on here, man? Like, you just you just can't really do a whole lot. You know what I mean? Wes, you played basketball in an era where you had, when basketball was physical, when it was, you know, big men ruled the court, and if you were some milk toast, soft person, you weren't going to survive in that kind of league. Just talk about what it's like. You see the two eras, and they don't have to directly compare to basketball to basketball, but just... The era before, we're talking like the 90s, early 2000s, that era compared to 2020. There is a complete change in modality of how these games are played now. What was it like for you back then? Like the stuff happening today, these dudes wouldn't be on the court or be on the field if they were this kind of, you know, just Pillsbury. I'm going to put it like that. Yeah. Uh, I mean – First of all, you like coming up. We we had people on your you had people on your bench that you put in just to make fouls. If you saw somebody was getting a hot hand, they were showing you all. Hey, time for you to go in and get your foul, you know. But also, even in practice or even in pickup games, our coaches hated hated us seeing us call our own fouls and you know argue about. It. He's like, well, unless you hit the ground or you know you see blood, ain't no foul, you know. Facts. Uh, also, you know, uh, we would we would practice against the JV, but they would have these football players. They had these two big football players <laughs> that would sit inside the lane. And they said, he told them, anytime Wes comes in the lane, y'all put him on his ass. And they put me on my ass. And you know what? That, that was part of it. If you came in the lane, you got to expect it. To get put on your ass. Hey, what are we talking about here? We're talking about hip checks. We're talking about elbows. What are we talking about? We're talking about hack and shack. We're talking, we're talking about just tomahawks. I, I would go up, and they would literally just <laughs> maul me and put me on the ground. Hey, that, that, that leads me to question. How was your uh, free throw game? Uh, were free you? Throw? Yeah. I was, I was, I was uh, probably mid-80s uh, free throw shooter. Okay. No reason to, uh, right. you know... Um, Activate the hack shack against so you, make, right? you, make, oh, yeah. you. You're making you know, a you know pay. Put me on the line. Uh, <laughs> now you probably let me shoot the three. I was I was probably like a below thirty three point shooter. Uh, but we didn't shoot a lot of threes back then either. So you you know you put up two or three a game, and then if you if you don't make at least one of those, then you don't shoot any more threes. You know you, you go to the hole. Hey, were you like which is which is a, a something that's gone now? Because were you like backing people down in the lane? Like, what were you power? What were you? What was your? What was your uh, game? I was, I was very versatile. I, re- I played all five positions. So, uh, you know, you, you can see me on the point. You can see me at the two guard. Uh, definitely see me uh, as a, a small forward on the wing. But uh, because of my height, though, uh, I definitely had to at point. You know, go down there and bang. Usually, when I had to go play four or five, it's because I was in trouble, and uh, I I would get in trouble in the coach and be like, well, we can't rely on you to be the point guard because, you know, I'm always yelling at you. So I would end up having to be a, a four or a five, but I was definitely, uh, uh, I was a match. I was a, a matchup nightmare for a lot of dudes. Like I remember uh, jumping ball and then I go get the ball, the ball for a point. And the dudes, he, the dude who played Elgin, he was probably about six ten. He's like, what the, he was out front trying to guard me and it, it was over. So was it was a dunk was a dunk game like you know was you putting your arm in the in the rim like Vince Carter what was it like No 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 I didn't I I couldn't jump that high No uh, I mean I could throw down I could definitely you know I could stand flat foot and go up and dunk the ball but no I did not have no Vince Sanity uh, Sean Kemp you know I'm touching the top of the square type stuff but hey. you know I could, I could throw down a dunk uh, I can go catch an alley Hey you got you know? that uh, you got that you got that dream shake you got that Akeem Olajuwon dream shake Man, I I, were, I had uh, especially when I was junior high, I had the I had a Keem's little fadeaway. I didn't have a dream. Ooh, shape, off that one leg, fadeaway, right? But I did work on my post moves. Uh, I, I watched a lot of Jordan because Jordan posted up a lot of players, you know, yeah. a lot of guards. But turning you know, folks, that's why I tried to try to work my footwork like Jordan. You had to have good footwork. Turning folks to a barbecue work. chicken. Hey, hey, look, man, ain't nothing wrong with no damn barbecue chicken. Let me just say. <laughs> Hey. Why are you bringing up food right now? You know I'm hungry. No, that's, uh, that's the same, man. <laughs> hey, all day, you know, when you're destroying someone in the paint, that's barbecue chicken all day. You never heard that? <laughs> hey, that's that. That's that, uh, you know. Hey, anybody got anybody eat that that uh, shakaroni yet? Y'all have that shakaroni? Nah. Hey, Shaq, send us the shakaroni, man. You know we could tear that up. About four or five of them, to be honest with you. Here we go. Um, we have live the top six, seven, for the top 25 
coming in at number one live Georgia at number one. Uh, as we kind of move closer, we'll go to number two. As we move forward, we'll probably go ahead and go to break once they release the top four. And then uh, we'll come back and have a discussion on them. We're waiting on number two to come in at this time. I'm sure they're discussing. At number two, Alabama. Number one and number two representing the SEC East. At number one, the SEC West with Alabama at eight and one. Uh, they're continuing to talk. Oregon lands at number three. The Pac-12, man. Mark, hey, Chris Ball has those dudes working right. Then, of course, you had the great Penny Sewell who went on to land at Detroit in last year's draft out of Oregon. And coming in at number four, rounding out the top four, Ohio State University. So one, two, three, four, Georgia, Alabama, Oregon, and Ohio State at four. Let's see if we get five before the break. Cincy fans are going to be mad. Well, they got left out in the cold last week. They were put at six. That's why I want to know what's going on at five, because if it's not five for Cincy, it is. And number five, it is Cincinnati moving up one spot at five. Um, We'll probably have the whole list when they come out. When we come back from break, let's get into a six minute break. And um, yeah, we'll have this diatribe getting into it. I'll have my, of course, diatribe, like I said, and the boys will give you theirs. We'll be back.
Jeff. Doesn't James owe a, a Pep have to pay a debt? Oh, yeah. What? I had a bet, didn't you? No, no. You and James had a bet. If James lost, he'd have to eat a dub like James Winston. Let's go. That's a W. Let's eat one. Let's eat one. That's a W. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> yes, you are. So so I have a proposition. This is between Wes and James. If the Green Bay Packers win, Wes, you got to eat crab legs on the show. If the Saints win, James has to eat dubs on the show. Bet. He didn't even hesitate. He didn't even hesitate, All producer right, James. <laughs> <laughs> was he on camera, Wes? I couldn't see. Yeah, well, camera. based off of his reaction, <laughs> based off of Wes's reaction, hey man, that's oh, a that's man. a paid paid in full. He even snarled in there and everything. I saw <laughs> he had he ate it with the gusto. Welcome back, everybody. It is the Paul Rodriguez show getting into the mix. Top 25 just got released. The top four we'll pick on. We'll speak about coming in at number one, Georgia, Alabama, Oregon, rounding out number four, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Notable ads. Number 25, the Arkansas Razorbacks. Number 23, the UTSA Roadrunners Bird Gang. A&M moves up to number 11. Uh, Ohio, excuse me, Oklahoma State moves in the top 10. Oklahoma goes to eight. And Notre Dame rounds out number nine for the top 10. Top 10, 10 to one. Oklahoma State, Notre Dame, Alabama, Michigan State, Michigan, Cincinnati at five, four, Oklahoma, excuse me, Ohio State, Oregon at three, Alabama at two, and number one, the Georgia Bulldogs. Are we surprised? What are our thoughts? I just want to say bird gang to the UTSA Roadrunners for handling their business in UTEP this past Saturday. Are we surprised with the top four? Wes? Uh, a, t- a, t- a tad bit surprised. Uh, uh, I just don't understand a, uh, uh, Ohio State being over the uh, undefeated Cincinnati team. So I'm just a little confused by that, but I guess it's conference. Uh, so, I mean, you got a lot of things that are going to be played out. Hopefully, maybe, you know, Michigan uh, upsets uh, Ohio State, but I would like to see Cincinnati get a, a shot in at the playoffs. Uh, but other than that, I mean, pretty much I knew it was going to be Georgia number one. I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, not even a contest. And I think Alabama's got to be number two. I mean, has anybody shown that, except for the, the loss to A&M, I still think Alabama's the second best team in the, the country. I mean, right 100%. There, 100% out. after the loss that they dis- uh, demonstrated to A&M. And with A&M kind of closing in on the top 10 uh, week by week, especially with that big win over Auburn, it seems likely. But I think what's going to play out here is I'm looking, I always look at the future. I look at what's to come because – you see here, we know Ohio State, we know Michigan are going to play. That'll be interesting this year. It hadn't been interesting for a fucking long time. We also know that the SEC championship is going to probably kick out one of these two teams at one or two. Yeah. So I think Cincinnati's going to get their shot. I think that the playoff football committee is saying, look, you're going to have to earn it. We're going to give the Power 5 schools the automatic bid until one of them has two losses or finds a way to not represent themselves to be in the top four. So but I believe if Cincinnati wins out, Cincinnati gets in. They had a tough time this past week against, I believe, Tulsa. They didn't dominate. They didn't blow him out like they should have. It was a tight win. I think it was 28 to 20. So not a lot of style points there. But in this instance, I mean, I think we're at, I think we're in the right spot for the top four. We don't really know. Ohio State's a little uneasy after their early loss. Oregon, same way. I think Alabama's a lot better than their probably their the loss to A and M probably identifies. They didn't have the run game going. They couldn't cover anybody in that game. Special team errors, and it took a 
50, nearly a 60 plus yard field goal to beat them with time running out with an unknown kicker in Kyle field. Lots of going on there. I don't think that's going to be the future, but if there's a team that can beat Alabama, it is Georgia. I believe wholeheartedly, but that'll be interesting to see. And I hope they play that in Atlanta at the Mercedes. Um, I want to say the Superdome, but that's not it. I think it's Mercedes stadium in Atlanta. Uh, I'm just kind of kind of going through and filtering a little bit more. Are you happy to see your Razorbacks back in the top 25? Do you feel they deserve it? Uh, at this point, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it, I'm, I'm happy for them just because they are in the 20, top 25, but it doesn't really matter. They need to play some good football in this season on a high note, get a, get a win in a, a decent bowl game. They need to come out and beat LSU. So, but it, you know, we, we basically we, we're almost in basketball season. Yeah. You know. We, Get, looking forward to that, but hey, the the Hawks, you know, made big steps from where they were. Mm-hmm. Uh, with Morris, Arkansas was horrible. They were probably the worst football team in the Power Five conferences. They were horrible. I mean, it was. It, you know me, I rock my Arkansas gear, man. <laughs> It hurt me to go out in public when uh, when Morris was there, dude. It was it was rough. People would like would look at me and just like, oh man, did you see that play against Arkansas when they gave up the got tricked? I was like, oh yeah, I saw it. It's kind of you a know? real. It's kind of a tough thing to kind of understand, like the lifestyle of Chad Morris as a head coach, like. Do you know where he came from before and like his beginning, like the genesis of how he got into coaching? I'll tell you if you don't know. So I, I, I know he came from SMU before he went to Arkansas. That's all I knew. So before he was at SMU, he was at Clemson, and he was the offensive coordinator for Clemson. And before that, he was at Tulsa. But the reason he made his name is he had a quarterback by the name of Garrett Gilbert at Lake Travis where he won two state titles and produced. He created Lake Travis as we know it today with his offense and his product. And it's kind of a little bit with, with all due respect, I know I'm going to dog him after I said that is it's sort of a fall from grace. You go from the sec back into high school football. Now he landed at Allen high school, which is one of the premier programs in the state of Texas in high school football, but to go from sec to high school football in Texas is quite a bit of fall from grace. And there were some very, a, you know, tumultuous times as a Razorback fan when he was at Arkansas. So I think his best fit is probably at a coordinator, maybe at a power five school, but definitely a head coach. He's going to do phenomenally at Allen and get that program uh, back turned around back when Kyler Murray was uh, winning four state titles from a true freshman to uh, a senior, then going off to A&M as of the short stint. And then finally landing as a Heisman trophy winner at Oklahoma. Uh, Producer James, yeah, I think too. Bad for him. Oh, no, no, no. I No, don't get me wrong. Listen, um, I warned y'all, though. I warned y'all about Kyler Murray, and I said, if this dude gets hurt anytime during the season, it's going to be tough for them to get wins. But I didn't know they had Colt McCoy as a backup who is a leader of leaders, apparently, and able to turn around and keep a victory in the slot or keep a victory in the win column for the Arizona Cardinals while they're facing – the San Francisco 49ers. Is, is, uh, do you consider Colt McCoy a reliable backup? Did you see him win on Sunday? I against? did not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he I, did I, I, very I would well. I Colt McCoy is a, a reliable backup okay. compared to other backups. I mean. I think he's hey, the best backup quarterback told, in the NFL. The, before before a Minnesota game, I would have told, took Colt McCoy over Cooper Rush for sure. I Heartbeat. Mean, um, true. I, I have a story about an encounter I had with Colt McCoy. I know Paul's going to roll his eyes, but, um, I was, there, I was getting them ready. <laughs> so, uh, so back in the day when I, when I, um, worked at Christ on my first tincture, he came through the line and, um, uh, I was like, Oh, it's Colt McCoy. Right. And this was just like, just after like his, you know, his, he's his, still at Texas. I want to say he had just got done at Texas. Okay. I want to say, or he might have been still, right? Like, how are you? How are you? Right. So, so what year was it? Oh, man, dude. 2010? It, this was like, this was like 12, 13 years ago, dude. So 2008, 2009? Yeah. So he's in, still in college. He's, he's still in college, then. So he, he comes through and I'm like, oh, it's Colt McCoy. So I'm like. Was he decked out in burnt orange? No. He was like a normal person. Yeah. He was blending in. And um, 
So anyways, we, we got these crates, postcards, right? And I'm, I'm just thinking, because I was collecting football cards at the time. And, uh, uh, and all that stuff. Football, that hit yeah, us. I wish I had a, you know, a card for him to sign. But anyways, uh, I grabbed a postcard at Crite Sales. I still got it somewhere at home. And I was like, hey, man, do you mind? And now looking back on it, I'm like, dude, I just fanboyed his ass. And I was like... I was like, hey, uh, you mind signing this for me? And, and we sell. Man, fuck both of y'all, dude. We sold uh, we sold pie, pies at the counter, right? Uh, and he goes like this. He goes, how about you give me this pie and I'll sign that for you. He's and I was a like, signature for a pie. Yeah. I was like, all right, bet. <laughs> so I got a Colt McCoy. You got uh, work for a pie? <laughs> I, got, I got work. No, he got finessed, my guy. He didn't get work. He got finessed for a pie. I didn't make that pie. You got, you can't, I bet you was on your tab. No. Yes. Hey, I'm How much you want to bet? Hey, I hope nobody's listening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey. Come Cole on, McCoy man. autograph ain't worth no food. Fuck man. no. It ain't worth no pie. <laughs> Fuck no. Nah. I hope you charge a full price hey. for that brisket. <laughs> Bro, I, Depends I on who it is. Set. I don't even ask him for his autograph. Yeah. He you, know, you gotta. You gotta you gotta act like you've been there before when you get around celebrities. West, you gotta be like, what, hey, what, what up, Cole? Hey, hey, Wes, Wes, that may have been true, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you what was going on inside Wes's head when he was right there by Tony Dorsett. He was like, Tony, 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 Tony. Yeah. You know he was inside yeah. like that. Oh, dude, I was, I was looking around. I'm looking at everybody else. I'm like, that's Tony fucking Dorsett. What are y'all doing? Like, Y'all, y'all, ah! Does anybody else know that Tony Dorsett is over here? Like, yeah, that was Dude. going on in my head, but I was, you know, outside, I'm like, yeah, man. What's up, Tony? What's up? What's up, Tony? <laughs> what's up, Tom? Gave him a little flex, like, yeah, I'm getting in here. <laughs> been, been, been on these 20s all day. 20, son. Uh, all day. <laughs> Every day. day. Never miss. In the gym. About that life. <laughs> Get your life right. <laughs> I feel you, Tom. Uh, now I'm said something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey man, you need to send uh, Cole an email telling me oh you a pie. <laughs> hey, tell, hey, right now let's go to let's go to producer James. James, go ahead and have your moment with Colt McCoy. Colt McCoy. No, that was it. No, go ahead. That was it. No. Floor, is your, floor is yours. That's it. Done. I traded a pie for an autograph. You got finesse for a pie for an autograph. Oh How did I get finesse? Like if I had made that pie, how about I it was sign a pie this like, postcard? It was a pie like this and big. And you give me that pie. It was a pie like this big. How about you give me that pie and I sign this card? <laughs> Sounded like a deal. What What am I gonna be like? No, right? Like what am I gonna be like? No. It wasn't you, my. You wanted the. You wanted the signature that bad. You it traded a pie. It wasn't my pie to give away. <laughs> I know it wasn't your pie. I know. I believe you. You gonna eat your cornbread? That's all I heard in my mind. You got worked like Eddie Murphy got worked. Oh shit! Yeah, no, right. man. I mean, if it was Vince Young, I could. Okay. Oh, damn. I, a, no, hell no, not even Vince. <laughs> the only way I'm giving up a pie whoa, is if whoa, the whoa, Undertaker. You no hey, <laughs> you damn right. You damn. <laughs> let me watch my head. You damn right. I ain't giving up no pie. Hey, uh, Vince Young, tell Paul, I'll give you two pies. No, nah, I'll give you one, man. <laughs> not like, two. Yeah. No, nah, Jack. I was like, how about you sign this card, and I don't gotta yell everybody your name in here. How about them apples? You like apples? How about them apples? I just watched a, a highlight of, not a highlight, but a clip of Goodwill Hunting this past uh, weekend. That's a good movie. You seen that movie? I've seen it. But I just haven't watched it in a, a long time. It's a good movie. Uh, nothing breaking. 48 minutes after the hour. Let's get into a three minute break. Uh, when we come back, guys, we're going to talk about the NFL and give our picks. We're back.
while we're on the topic of the the Dallas Cowboys, did you see that that clip of uh, Deion Sanders? He was getting interviewed. Like they were having some sort of like uh, it was like a yeah. It was at the SWAC media. Yes, yeah, yeah, correct. That guy was like, "Hey, Dion. Hey, Dion. I was just wondering if you could." Uh, oh, hold on. Let's back up a little bit. You don't call Nick Saban Nick. Don't call me Dion. Okay. Let's I call go. Nick Saban Nick. Yeah, yeah, you don't. Dion. No, you don't. Right. No, you don't. That's a lie. Right. You, if you call Nick Nick, you know you get cussed out on the spot. So don't do that to me. Treat me like Nick. Okay, <laughs> Dion. Um, right. Just uh... so. I have mixed feelings about this. I understand what Dion is saying. Let me put some respect on his name. I ain't gonna say it no more. I understand what Coach Prime is doing. Two parts. Number one, that media person should have called him Coach Sanders or Coach or Coach Prime or Prime. Any of those probably would have worked, but you called him Dion. I think Prime has earned the respect. This ain't his first year coaching. Okay, he's won state championships in Texas in the private school, private school league. Okay, he's paid his due. He didn't just jump into the head coaching position. Dion corrected that media person and said, do you call Saban Nick? Everybody knows the answer is no. But on the other side, Prime, you don't get to behave that way when you haven't won any national championships, collegiate championships, SWAT championships. But at the same time, it was like Prime was wrong the way he held that media person accountable. And that media person was wrong for the way he addressed Prime. If your children went to you said, hey, James. Hell no. Two chops to the throat. Right. <laughs> Two chops to the throat. You tell them, Laville. Two chops to the damn throat. Motherfuckers don't know how to spell pecan pie. How do you spell pecan pie? P e c a n. How do you spell pecan pie? Pecan. Pecan. Pecan pie. Pecan pie. How do you spell it? P e c a n. What do you? P e p can c a n pecan pie. Hey, just because you spell it like that, don't mean you say it like that, bro. Pecan pie. Pecan pie, y'all, y'all tripping. Pecan. I got some in the fridge right now. I have for my birthday. It's pecan pie. I love it. Pecan. Anyways, pecan. moving on. Pecan pie. You know, you know what it. Y'all know what it is. The fans out there watching the show, let us know. Is it pecan or pecan? Use your, yeah, use what you can to make it. You mean, sound Google? Uh, yeah. How do you go tell us? You can it, use parentheses. You can way. do the upside down e. You can do the long a. You can do a little c, a big a. You can kind of do inflections in there with. And it, people are crazy nowadays. They got all kinds of graphs and figures and filters and keyboards. I mean, if they got poop emojis, you can spell out pecan or pecan pie. You want me to ask Google? Google can kick rocks. Okay, well, I, I got it right Go here. ahead, ask him. Hey, Siri, what are you going to tell us today? Are you a Siri or are you Alexa or a, a BB or a Bixie? Or... Here we go. Pecan. Pecan. Pecan what? Pecan. Pecan what? Bro, ah. you know how to say pie. Pecan what? Pecan, pecan. pie. What pecan pie. Serious? It's not pecan. It's pecan pie. It's pecan. All I know is you got oh, finesse for one. Moving on to the NFL as we get forward. Look, everybody's up here. You're about to get the demon. The what? The Willie? The Willie Beaver? You're about to get the demon. The demon. The demon. We're going to bring that motherfucker out later on. He's on. I got a feeling he's going to be making an appearance, moving ever so slightly into the mix. Week number 10 in the NFL season. What do you got over there? Nothing. What do you got on over there? Moving into week 10, Ravens, Dolphins, Thursday night, Baltimore favored by seven and a half points. We'll go round robin style like we do. Wes, how you feeling in this game? Oh, uh, definitely going with the Ravens here. I even take the Ravens with, you know, to, to cover. Ooh, so. seven and a half to cover? I mean, I mean it's the Dolphins. What do you got a lot of confidence in the Dolphins? Brissette looked good last week. Hey, uh, 
Who did he play? The Texans. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you look good against? The Texans. <laughs> All right, so move on. James? Taking the Ravens. Uh, I'm going to take the Ravens too. Yeah. All right, moving <laughs> on. <to> fa- <laughs> we'll, the save the, we'll save the next game. We'll save the next game for the later on. The Saints and the Titans. Titans, a two point favorite at the house. James? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the Titans. Wow. I, they, they, as, been, you, as you should. They've been rolling, right? Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, Limp Biscuit. Are they on like a five game winning streak? They're on a they're on a winning streak. That's yeah. all I know. I'm gonna take the Titans as well. I'm d I don't trust Simeon and I don't think that Taysom Hill will be back. Wes. Uh, uh man. I, it's where where is the game? It's in it's in Tennessee. It's in Tennessee? Mm-hmm. It's a it's a I, yeah, it's a noon I kinda, kick. I kinda got a leaning uh Towards the Titans, even though you know no uh, Henry, but, but I think I Adrian Peterson. <laughs> man, he's gonna be hitting the field with a switch. You, you, better, you better uh, go get your switch, the kids, man. He, that's the only thing he's better at than <laughs> Derrick Henry right now. I heard he's got really good handshake, like real just fuetid. Oh yeah, real I, strong. I heard it, it breaks your hand. <sighs> my, uh, my my old basketball coach at McNeil, Coach Page, man. Still to this day, man, he give you a handshake and then he would uh, like, slap you on the back really hard. He got big old hands. I mean, he's probably six two, so I mean, they don't have small hands, but he just he just grips it hard. He's this guy, firm. You call it six people six two short? How dare you? Yeah. How dare yeah. you? You should be ashamed of yourself. Jaguars at Colts noon kick. Indianapolis a ten and a half point favorite at Lucas Oil. P Rod, it's on you. I'm taking the Colts. Wes, come on, man. Have you seen the Jaguars? Hey, they beat yeah. the Bills last week. I did see that. Oh, but last week was what? That's over with. Even though, you know, uh, Sunshine is, you know. Sunshine. Uh, <laughs> sunshine. But, no, you get definitely got to go coach. I got to go coach. James Even Colts. though Carson Wentz is horrible. Ooh. Hey, he went off last Ooh, week. Rough. Browns at. Packer, excuse me, Browns wow. at Patriots. Hey, watch yourself there. Hey, take it easy, guy. Hey. <laughs> you want payday? <laughs> payday? You want payday? Hey, Paul only says all this wild stuff. You know why? You know why? Payday, payday. You want payday? I know that. <laughs> Browns at Colts, the OBJ less. Browns looked really good without OBJ. Browns at Colts? Browns at Patriots. Oh, okay. Patriots one and a half point favorite at the house. It's on Wes. Oh, dude, uh, I gotta go to Patriots. Uh, yeah, I know they they beat the Bengals or whatever, but I think that was uh, just some, some luck. You you're talking about Bill? Bill's got a uh, he's got the Patriots looking pretty good, so I'm definitely taking the Patriots at home. James, uh, I'm gonna go Browns. I'm gonna go Browns. It's a good it's a good pick. It's go it's Browns. it's a really tough game to pick. Um, I think I think Baker got his revenge game last week, but I think. I think Wes is pretty accurate. Bill Belichick is going to have something for that ass at the house in Foxborough, taking the Patriots. Bills at Jets rebound game, or is it another trap game? Wes, I'm sorry, producer uh, James. No, it's on James. James. Sorry, sorry, James. Um, it's my fault. I'm going to take the Bills. Okay, I'm going to take the Bills, man. Reluctantly, they're a, they're a twelve point. Fa- oh, excuse me, they're a thirteen point favorite. Okay, I'm going to take the Bills too, Wes. Oh, I'm definitely taking the Bills, man. Come on, they got to bounce back. If, if you know, if the, we think that the Bills are the team that they are, of course they got to bounce back and uh, put it on the Jets. Facts. The winless Dan Campbell fighting Lions oh, at Three Rivers, Pittsburgh. It's on me. I'm gonna take the Lions just for the fuck of it. Wes, man, I I would like for the Lions to win a game, but they they pretty shitty. They are shitty. So you know, yeah, I'm gonna take the Steelers. You know, the Steelers squeaked out this win uh, this week against the uh, uh, Bears. So I think no Bears. Yeah. Hey, uh, did we stop keeping track of these? Yeah, we're like, oh, okay. oh, okay, yeah. I thought we were like loosely. Um, 
I, on the other hand, don't give a shit about the Lions <laughs> winning a game. So, uh, Pittsburgh. The Stadlers. The Tampa Bay Gronkineers at the former debauchery engulfed, inflamed, womanizing Washington football team. It's on Wes. Tampa at Washington. How how, are you going to disrespect Tom Brady like that? With the Gronkineers. I man. said Tom. I said Tampa Bay. I said Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay Gronkineers. Oh, okay, I didn't. I didn't. Maybe I didn't hear it. That's because I didn't say it. What's going to say? Is Gronk even playing? Is he? I mean, yeah, nobody he's. Worried he's about, ain't nobody worried about Gronk. He's, he, anyway, he's got an arm I'm barely gonna, stitched I'm gonna on. I'm going to take Tampa Bay. I mean, who's who's quarterback in front of uh, the, the Redskins? Tyler Heineke, and it's not the Redskins; it's the Washington Football Team. Man, it's 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 the Redskins. All right, it's like it's a it's the San Diego Chargers and it's you the gonna, Oakland Raiders. Hey, hey, stay woke. You gonna get canceled for saying Washington Football Team? It's, it's, it's still gonna be the Cleveland Indians too. <laughs> hey, Wardianes, Wardianes, Wardianes. It's the Guardians, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> what was the matchup? How is Indian <laughs> offensive to Indians? I don't know. Go ask them. I'm not one. Why are you asking I mean, me? That's like me be, saying uh, being offensive to call me uh, gat chief people or <laughs> black man or, or tall dude. Hey, man, you're tall. I'm offended by that. The Dallas Spacers. You no, know, I am tall. <laughs> Just because you just because you tall and handsome don't mean you can be offended because you tall. Handsome. Hey man, I gotta man. I gotta make this sound right. So just killing my joke. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. All right. Shit. Tampa I like, Bay. I was like, okay, he's handsome. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then, and then, what's next? <laughs> hey, this dude having too much fun. This dude having too much fun over here. Tampa Bay at Washington. Tampa Bay, man. I like Tampa, Tampa too. Bay. The Panthers at the Cardinals. Arizona is a ten and a half point favorite at the house. That's on me. I'm going to take the Cardinals. Wes? Uh, first of all, it was to James. I started off the last one. Damn. But and I your pick is? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the Cardinals. <laughs> I got the car- I got the Cardinals as well. The Vikings at the Chargers. Chargers are a two and a half point favorite at the house. Since it was on, uh, if since it was on James before, and then it was on you. So who's on it now, Wes? Is it on me? Well, since you took James' spot, even though this should be yours, I guess is is it on James? And then we go. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, we'll, I'll we'll go it. James, and then we'll go back to you. <clears throat> Um, it, it kind of pains me, but I'm going to go with the Vikings on this one. Why? I just think they're going to get it done. I think they're going to get it done. That's a hot take. Wes? Is it? I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely going Chargers. Yeah, I'm uh, going. Me too. You know, they got, move, wait, they got some uh, momentum going, so I'm going Chargers. Chargers, Wes. Eagles at Broncos, your favorite team. Uh I don't care who, I don't care who the Eagles are playing. I, I can't, I can't pick the Eagles. So, Whoever the Eagles are playing, that team's winning. Teddy Two Gloves at the house. James? What if they're playing the uh, Washington football team, Eagles and Washington football team? Who are you going to pick? Some kind of way I hope it's a tie. That's what I thought you would say. Um, Eagles and who? Eagles at Broncos. Uh, I'm going to take the Broncos. Coming off a big win off of Dallas, you know, I'm going to take the Broncos. We'll skip the next game for the sake of James. Chiefs at Raiders Sunday night, prime time. Mahomes versus Carr. This is on James. I got the Raiders. The Raiders. Out of spite. <laughs> the Raiders. I'm bitter, I, I'm bitter and I, I was burning. <laughs> Kansas City is a two and a half point favorite on the road. You're going with the Raiders? I am. I'm going with Red Nation Chiefs. The undercover Chiefs fan or what? Wes, I like Mahomes. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to the Raiders just because oh, uh, the y'all. Chiefs beat a uh, a uh, A Rod uh, list Packer team. I I don't think that the Chiefs are 
found what they're doing. They didn't look that good beating the Packers. So, I'm, yeah, I'm going to Raiders. Yeah, but the Giants beat the Raiders last week. I, hope, I don't know if y'all forgot. Football math? For sure. <laughs> Rams at 49ers Monday night in Santa Clara. It's on me. I'm going to take the Rams on the road straight up. I guess it would be I-5 or I – no, whatever that interstate is. Wes? I've been to California. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go uh, – I'm definitely going Rams. I, I, yeah. The 49ers can beat Colt, so how they going to beat the boy uh, Stafford? Who knows? Stafford? No, no, no. Rams. Stratford? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you said Stanford, like the university. So that that white boy that plays quarterback for the Rams. <laughs> well, there's like a bunch. There's been a bunch of them. Man, get the fuck out of here, man! Please, please get James, the fuck out of here, man. I got uh, the Rams, but um, so what was up with the Rams? Like they look kind of, they looked off. Last... They look shitty. Yeah, they look shitty. Do, but do, it, yeah, do, there you go. There you go. Do, 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 there should have been another addition. Yeah, to the it was the Twilight Zone yeah. for sure. Seattle Seahawks at the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers, from his interview today on the McAfee Show, said that he is more than likely going to play unless the body's not ready. Those are his words, not mine. Not an interpretation. Not a take. Aaron Rodgers, quote. Okay. Green Bay's a three-point favorite at the house. How much? Three-point. Three-point, okay. And, uh, amazing. And, 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 and... and Russ is back. A uh, Mason Crosby, uh, Mason Crosby three point. Wait, wait, is is Russ back or is Russ just back to to practice and he's cleared to practice? I thought I didn't know he was cleared to play. Let's go to the injury report. Regardless if he's back or not, I got the Green Bay Packers. We 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 know that, dude. You know. Are you are you sure you want to pick them? Come on, man. <laughs> hey. I bet you won't bet a gummy on it. <laughs> Not me. Not I. Hey, uh, tell him, Wes, tell him. Relax. 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 Russell Wilson cleared to play as Coach Pete Carroll Hales QB. Oh, yes. All right. Well, well, sh- I got Seattle. Who writes this stuff? Mm-mm. Like he was like, Mm-mm. oh, hell, Mm-mm. hell, Mm-mm. Seattle. Mm-mm. This is a this Aaron Rodgers. Listen. <clears throat> Aaron Rodgers is not playing. I'm taking Seattle. Aaron Rodgers will never win an MVP again because of this past week's this past week's stuff. He'll never win another. He'll never. The only thing he'll probably be able to win is a Super Bowl MVP. It's my prediction. It's my prognostication that, barring a miracle turnover, a miracle play, a Hail Mary. I think Aaron Rodgers goes scorched motherfucking earth on the way to a Super Bowl and wins a Super Bowl and throws a big middle finger to the whole NFL. That's what I think is going to happen. And then? <laughs> and then you better hope Green Bay offers a blank and check then, so that that then, man can either stay because if he doesn't, he's going to be breaking y'all's hearts once he rides off to another team. And that be it, whoever that be. Okay. I told you, New England. Uh, did you hear that? Didn't uh, you say you said New Orleans last time? <laughs> did you hear that? Saying? No, I didn't. I said New England. Oh, okay, did, did, maybe you. Did you not watch maybe, the show last maybe. night? I was here. Maybe I was here. <laughs> oh, was it that Monday the first when I was delirious? No, that, that sounds about right. Fool. I was delirious last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you should have yeah. been delirious last night. Hey, did you hear that? Uh, OBJ he has his number one target, Green Bay. If he clears waivers, he like he wants to go to Green Bay. That'd be awesome. He already cleared waivers. Don't, didn't he? The, the, no, not yet. The only thing that I'm... Uh, you sure? He, I he thought just, he cleared waivers today at like 3 o'clock. The waiver's cleared, at, oh, okay. waiver's cleared okay. at 3 today. Okay. Thank you yeah. for in, informing me, guys. Enlightening you. Uh, yeah, oh, you ever heard it. of ESPN? I watch the way turn I... Turn it on uh, every once in a while. Gotta watch the way I... Uh, yeah, turn on ESPN. Every once in a while. Hey, I, I turn on Apex, YouTube, <laughs> uh, you, know, all, all, you know, all these things. Man. Just go into so meta. Much. Just go into the meta universe, and then you'll be able to be everywhere. You've been talking to Zucks. I've been talking to Zucks not to do Zucks shit, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Because you Zuck. Dude, you better watch out with that, man. Man, hey, 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 Canelo, tell him. Hey. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Dude, Zuckerberg, he, he got probably drones here, headed your way right now. They just flew over. What are you talking about? You didn't oh. hear him? 
Bombs over Baghdad. Hey, B.O.B., baby, every day, all day. It's the aliens, man. We ain't about that <laughs> bullshit. They know you can catch you in the line at Christ Market and get in Hey, 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 hey. He will hey, not get a pie. There. He will not get a pie from me. Ain't I'll tell get, you that. Hey, he, will, he ain't going to be finessing nobody. It's like, you pay full price, my guy. Full <laughs> price. We're going to add your tax on there, too. Sure. Just because you his, you you is. And you better leave it, too. And you better... <laughs> Hey, 30% gratuity <laughs> automatically applied to the bill. <laughs> Last game of the night, Atlanta Falcons at the Dallas Cowboys. West, you better be in attendance. Dallas is a nine-point favorite at the Casa. Wes. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm, I'm going to be there. And, uh, it's, uh, of course, I gotta, I'm taking the Cowboys. But it, this is going to be the true test of what this team is made of. Like, Agreed. Are you gonna are you gonna continue to be the team that we saw last year, or are you gonna bounce back and show that you're you're a different team this year and put it on the Falcons? Because hey, you know the Falcons are four and four, same I, I believe the same record or as the then real last year. Yep. So I mean, the same thing can happen. I guarantee you, there's gonna be a lot of Falcon fans in, in attendance at this game. So. Uh, Cowboys better bring it. And I hope that, you know, you got guys on that team that are saying after that loss, pull some guys aside and say, hey, if y'all want to do something, y'all want to make something special this year, pull your head out of your ass and let's go get this, let's go get this season. So I, I'm really hoping that the, these guys are, you know, got this shit right and everybody, somebody stepped up and became a leader. Uh, I know Dak's got to do it on the offensive side, on the defensive side. Uh, don't really care who it is. I mean, you got to look at a Randy Gregory or maybe a, uh, uh, the, even the rookies, Diggs and uh, Parson. Somebody's got to step up. Mander issue. Do it too. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, oh, is that the playoff music? Man, I can't bring up subjects like that. Hey, night. We got, do we have the applause or no? I didn't, no, we got rid of it. We'll do the, uh, we should do the, yeah, the, 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 do the, uh, March. You need to get that wrap that shit up, Beam. Wrap wrap it up, Beam. <laughs> I get it, man. I wrapped it up. I got uh I got Dallas. Yeah, but, I, got, I got the Cowboys too. So with that being said, if Dallas shits the bed, is this the is, like is it like is it panic mode? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. If they don't win if they don't win dominantly, these motherfuckers are back. back. If they if they don't win dominantly, it's a problem. <laughs> Like, if they don't win by 10 or more, it's a problem. Well, I, I, I don't know if it's about that. It's a problem. If they don't Wes. move the ball, it's a problem. If they don't put up points, it's a problem. If they're putting up uh, points, they're going to put up a load of points and Atlanta can't keep up. That's why I kind of say that. If Dallas gets back to form, they're going to be so dominant that Atlanta can't keep up, which is going to benefit their defense because that defense is built to play from ahead. They're not built to play from behind. And we saw the power running game totally dominate that linebacker core this past weekend with Denver. That's why I say if Dallas will win by double digits, that's what we want to see because they need to be leading from the, uh, the beginning of the game. So therefore that defense can play the way they need to. Yeah. Bring the shit as, Bring. as uh coach buddy, uh, what was the coach buddy, buddy Stevens for, uh, uh, last chance you uh, bring yeah. the shit. Just don't be a bunch of slap dicks. Just go out there and perform in the words of Jason Brown, another bring former coach of Last Chance You. Producer James, what do you got? Uh, I'm, I've said my piece. He said his piece after. <laughs> bring the another shit. piece. <laughs> Piece of pie. <laughs> piece of pie. <laughs> Damn it. I can't believe you gave him a piece of pie for Coca-Cola. I know. I kind of... God, dude. You're gonna, it's going to take a while for you to live this one down. <laughs> and the thing about it is, is like, it wasn't no slice of pie. It was one of those like pre-formed, pre-packaged, yeah. like I know, I know corner exactly store, little foil pie. It wasn't no love was that, in that pie. Yeah. It was a, it was a, exactly. it was a little, little circle pie. Yeah. Probably like four shit. inches in diameter at max. But those things are tasty, though. They I mean, are. I do have to yeah, admit that. Yeah, they are. With some chocolate milk. Yeah. Bro, tasty. Mm. 
I guess cool, it, cool had, I, had, I, I, had I had I had I have slices of white bread. <laughs> hey, what did you say? <laughs> With me or James? Yeah, all I heard was white bread. What did you say? <laughs> I'm saying if it was me, I would. He would have been like, "Hey, you know, trade out for the pies." Like, nah, I'll give you a couple extra slices of white bread, and then make. Uh, for your autograph. I thought you would have handed him a stick. Of, I thought you were going to hand him a stick of crackers to trade off for that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you get white bread. It's barbecue place, right? Yeah. You didn't get it. Had yeah. I <laughs> had I have known that I was going to be on the show, Whoa. you know, 13, 14 years later, whatever, I would have been like, nah, I'm good, man. <laughs> nah. And then I would have been able to tell the story, you know, you know, whatever. Enjoy but, your day, Colt. But I you, got the autograph. Yeah. It's all right. You did. You did what you. It, you did what you did. What a twenty-one-year-old would have done at the time. Okay. I'm, I'm sure Colt's probably watching this right now and is like, "Oh man, I remember that that little dude giving me that pie." Colt will probably I, never I, be on this show. <laughs> after this, what? dude, I'm sure Colt's listening right now. I don't know, man. I can send him a shipment of pies. I might be able to secure an interview. If you sent him, if you sent him a box of sausage, he'd probably come on the show. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what? Hey, we'll send you a box of sausage if you do a ten-minute interview. Yeah, and then I'll be getting unemployment next week. <laughs> well, I'll pay for it. Cool, cool McCoy ain't worth the box of sausage. Hey, hey, I mean, hey, 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 hey. That's, we can find that's, somebody that's, better listen, than that. The, the expressions and words of Wes Washington do not reflect his colleagues or his pseudo employer because hey. we're not paying you anything. <laughs> Coach, Col- Col- he can get probably maybe a, a, a half pound of sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he didn't want to give him like half a box. He said half a pound. That's like two rings. That's two. That's two, <laughs> that's two rings. He said you ain't worth much, my guy. Oh shit, Wes uh, or not Wes, but uh, Cold. If you're watching, James. you want to come on? You know, you're welcome. Uh, Everybody's he's welcome. watching, dude. Huh? Cold's watching. I'm gonna tag him. I'm gonna make a clip of this and I'm gonna tag him. I'm sure he's watching. Yeah. Yeah, because he he was like, yeah. uh that little dude uh, at Christ Market Games. Damn. I'm gonna make a clip so and then I'm gonna include show. a picture of the postcard that he autographed too. So Damn. he can't he can't be like, no, I never did that. Damn. Why does he gotta be little, man? Why is it why is he gotta be like that? No, man. I'm sure that's the way Colt saw it. He was like, <laughs> looked down at the little dude, he's like, hey little dude. Colt Colt McCoy is like six one, maybe. He ain't that he ain't huge. From what I remember though, he was looking down on me. It's because you're five six, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out here, and you want to just. No, I mean, I'm out. not gonna. I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm not, you know, whatever. Just like Wes was like, oh, you got to act like you've been there before. You look at me, man. I'm over working at a bar place at the time, and so them, um, like, dude, like, like right, I've work, been there before. You're doing honest work. You're doing honest work. Yeah, but like I've been there before. Come on, man. Uh, nah, man. You had to. You had to put Colt in his place. Like, hell no, nah, you ain't getting no pie. Look, Colt. Long. You're going to buy this pie, and you're going to give me that signature. That's what you should have said. I should have. Yeah. Or, you, or you ain't getting no white bread. Hey, oh, that, that UT money. You hey, but I, but I live my life with no regrets. Money. No regrets. <laughs> <laughs> not, not one no letter. regrets. <laughs> no regrets. Um, Fellas, what do you want to leave the people with? What do you want to? What anything you want to talk about before we leave? What what's on your minds? Oh uh, man, I'll go, I'll go first. Oh, go ahead, James. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, dark side of the mic tomorrow. We didn't talk too much about Aaron Rodgers and the the whole. Uh, I don't even know if you would call Stay it. Stay woke. If you would call it controversy, but uh, we'll we'll be giving an in depth. I'll, I'll be going off. I got a I got a rant. I may I may call in. You might as well just be a guest. I might as well just call in. We, we're in need of a guest. Okay, well then I'll I'll join you. Okay. Paul Rodriguez on Dark Side of the Mic tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be at 7 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, sharp, because we ain't got to wait on nobody to get home and, you know, send an invite or nothing like that. So it'll be <laughs> it'll be 7 sharp. And, uh, yeah, you can check us out. Oh, man. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. Man, you know what, man? No, nah, it's cool, man. You know what? I mean, I know you're on old people time. Like, you're like, hey, I just got home, so I got to wait 10 minutes for you to Damn. watch your computer, you know? You know what? You know what? You know what? From now on, send, send it send it whatever, whenever you like. If you want to send it at 745, 750, 755, I'll be here. You All know right. what? Get, you kind of paint, you kind of you know paint what, yourself man? in I, a I'm corner. I'm not going to throw everybody's stuff out in the street like you oh, just did. Oh, shit. Me. But you know what? It's all good, bro. Oh, uh, so that's what I said. You painted you know? yourself into a corner. 
Who me? Because yeah, you. How? So I'm the reason we don't start at eight. I didn't say every that. time. Yeah, that's what you were implying. No, I said, said we're. You don't have to wait to sit. Oh, nobody. I'm not, I wasn't fight, even talking fight, about fight, this show. Fight, I'm talking fight, about my show. Fight, fight, fight. We'll be on at seven sharp. Yeah, seven sharp because you don't have to wait to send anybody the the uh, message. Ooh. I get it, man. It's all good. It's all good. Fine words. Hey, I'm just. You know if Wes flies me out, I don't gotta wait. I don't gotta wait. Just fly me out, Wes. Come on, man. One day it's gonna yeah. happen. I got dreams hey. of sitting under that chandelier right there. Hey, the the it's the chandelier is about to go away, man. I'm about to get my uh, apartment, so chandelier is going away. I don't know. Well, fly me it's out before gonna, then. It's, when I get the apartment, it's actually gonna be nicer because I actually I decorate the background and stuff. I have my Arkansas and Dallas Cowboy stuff behind me. Right now, you know, I, I can't I can't put a Dallas Cowboy uh, flag on the chandelier. You know, just, nah, that's disrespectful. I just wanted that's to go tight. over there and record a Paul Pierce video with you. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's, but that's you got, what I need to do, man. I need to, uh, for one of these shows, man, I just need to have, like, just some big asses just, like, right here. <laughs> you know, just... But they gotta be, but they gotta be going, they gotta be going, like, side to side and you're just gonna, like, they gotta, you know, like, these new TikToks are just, like, Rock the hip, rock the hip, like left, no, no, rock, just right, to be rock, left, right. Me. Like just, <laughs> you just, just hold, it. It. just put it, play drums, little t- little tambourines. But up, up, up. You better fly me out for that. <laughs> <laughs> shit, <laughs> you. I don't know if you'll have anything to come home to. <laughs> oh shit. But up, up, but up, Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't put, don't be, don't be putting that on me. She coming after me. I start talking to James. I ain't talking to me. No, yeah, no, he I'm knows. Just saying it. it it's, uh, <laughs> Baby mama talking to me because the ass clapping and James is in the house. But uh, what I want to leave the people with, let me get back to the get back to the show. Who's, who's supposed to be steering us back to things? Hey, yeah, we're we're in we're, we're in we're, we're in it. the wrap up. We are in all we are in full wheels yeah. off off road off the you rails. Know, distracted. No, I we're we're good. Easy. We we got the show in, and now it is whatever. Whatever goes, it, it goes. Oh uh, well. If we already talked about well, big. If we already talked about big wet butts, I mean, what else is there to talk about? Big wet butts. You didn't say wet. You just said big butts. You said Paul Pierce. Those were wet butts. Oh okay. Am I wrong? I mean, I just watched the video once. Just saying. I didn't realize that. You must have not been paying attention. I, I didn't know I must not. Wet. But uh, <laughs> what I want to leave with the people, man, is. is, is Basically the same as everything. Take care of yourself. Uh, take care of each other. And, you know, uh, uh, if you got a person that you haven't talked to in a while, and just uh, check on them. Check on everybody, man. See how they're doing. People need that stuff. People love that. You know, just say, hey, how you doing? How's it been? People love it. Word, 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 word. I like it. Oh. What do I have to say for the <laughs> What do I have to say for the people? Um uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's Duck Dynasty night. It's du- it's actually a duck call room night. Why do you get so like hestels when I bring that up? Duck Dynasty, dude. Are you serious, you know Wes? You I ever like, seen Duck Dynasty, Dynasty, Wes? What's wrong with What's wrong with Duck Dynasty? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's not my cup of tea. What's wrong with that? it's not my cup. Only thing that was good on Duck Dynasty was uh, what's his name? Uh, si, Uncle Si. Uncle Cy. Uh, well, that's so, who I, I mean, watch. That's, that's got that's got to be played out by now. No, nah, I mean, dude, they still it's hilarious. New shows. Hey, they talk. They they do. They do. They have a podcast, right? And I'm not trying to give them like no air, but they do a good podcast. It's every Tuesday and Wednesday. And after we do our show here, like it's something I look forward to because there's just a bunch of nonsense on TV. It's either everything's negative or everything is skewed or everything is biased. And this is a show where they kind of talk about like what they're doing and they do good stuff. Like they go do speaking tours. It's hunting season right now. They'll talk about, you know, talking about, you know, they talk about spirituality. They talk about fans who appreciate the show and they have, it's a pretty good production. Okay. And, um, it's not just, and it's funny. Like they tell funny stories. They'll tell like backstories on like what the show was about. Like, Remember on this show when we did this, this, and they'll talk about behind the scenes stuff. So you kind of get a glimpse into what was like really going on. That stuff we couldn't see like on A&E. 
But uh, that's, I mean, I like it. Like, for me, it's amusing. Understandable. Yeah. And, I mean, then I again. I thought it was just a beard thing. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, then again, I'm not surprised. It's from the guy that, you know, still watches Jersey Shore. So, you know. Hey, beat the you beat up. Jersey Shore? Beat the beat up. Does? Beat the beat up. Hey, what's wrong with Jersey Shore? What's wrong? It's horrible. <laughs> Jersey Shore is horrible. I mean. Yeah, um. I feel bad that I watched the Tiger King, but Jersey Shore, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Don't how feel, you why do you feel bad you watch Tiger King? It was interesting shit. Wasn't it? Are you gonna watch Tiger uh, King too? Probably. I've never, I I've never I, seen I, Tiger I, I King. Can't, I can't. How are you gonna and watch Duck Dynasty, but you I never looked, seen Tiger I King? I look down on you two for watching that god awful filth. Why? How when you've never dare seen you? it? What are you talking about? When you've never it's dare you? When you've never seen it? There's judgment on me for watching Jersey Shore, and y'all are over here watching all this kind of hoopla. Here you go, the guy. Sorry, you're trying to do clickbait. No, I just wanted to be uh, an yeah, asshole yeah, for a no. minute. Jersey Shore, that's horrible, man. Those people, they they just annoy me. If, yeah, if but I that's what that's what's funny about public, it. Public, I'd probably go to jail for punching them in the face. Paul watches Jersey Shore, <laughs> and we know some dudes. I'm not gonna punch any of the women, but any <laughs> well, of the punch you back. Jersey Shore, I'm definitely, I'm gonna, I'm taking my chance. I'm punching them in the face. Hey, Wes. Paul watches Jersey Shore, and we know we know he's not going to the gym. We know he's not tanning, and he definitely ain't doing his laundry. Damn, that's <laughs> fucked up. Damn, I, that's true. I don't gym tan, but I do laundry. That's fucked up, bro. Hey, come on, man. We having fun over here, aren't we? That's all right. I can take it. I don't know if that was fun for Paul. Damn, it's all good. Got about a week. <laughs> See if that bank counts a little light. Hey man, I need my payday, payday. <laughs> you want pay? That's right. I know that. That's what James knows. Wow, man. James does a lot of work for for uh, for the business, so I I really appreciate that. He lets me slide. <laughs> well, there wouldn't be a show if you weren't here. <laughs> but um, I don't know. It's, 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 I think it's just one of those things where you get caught up with a show when you were growing up. Like when I was in college, Jersey Shore was big. And now you kind of, you see them as like adults and they're married and they have kids. And so it's a different lifestyle, but they still like to party. And that's okay, Wes. You can shake your head all you want all day long. It's fine. You were, that's an era before your time. You wouldn't understand. You can't identify. It's not an era before my time. Uh, Actually, one of my best friends watches that, but it's just, I, I know. I've watched maybe uh, one season of uh, The Real World. Yeah, I can't do Other that. Other than that, I can't stand it. Uh, What's I the just, difference? I'm not a big reality TV fan. I don't like a lot of reality TV unless it's like you're talking about, like you know, like the uh, Last Chance You type stuff. So like that's a good just one. Talking about the, the drama stuff, and you talk. I work for reality TV people. They're not on reality TV anymore, but. I just I never watched one episode of their show. So I'm what what did you what did you do for those people? Huh? What did you do? Like what show was it? The reality show? Can you say? Real real I I, I mean I don't care. Well, I don't uh, I just don't real, I just don't know. Real Housewives of uh, Dallas. Okay, okay. So see my my biggest thing is like with these shows like for like Jersey Shore it's like a guilty pleasure. Like I don't have a lot I don't watch a lot of TV unless it's football or sports. Or, yeah, that's, like, pretty much it. I, re- I watch a lot of YouTube. Like, that's where all my stuff comes from. The only show I watch, like, outside of sports on, like, cable is, like, Jersey Shore. But, oh, no. I mean, that that's I just, like, the only thing. I really thing. watch re- real actors. I mean, because basically, it's not really reality TV. It's st- they're still kind of amateur actors. Yeah. I really watch some real actors, you know. I get in the, to... Uh, like right now, I'm in the snowfall, in the Yellowstone. Woo, Yellowstone! That, Yellowstone's big right That's now. That's what everybody big keeps big. saying, yeah, but I heard snowfall. I heard like one one of my good friends who told me it was like just bullshit, and I just don't know who to believe. Maybe I just need to get in to see for myself to see if it, like what it is. You ever seen like uh, Sons of Anarchy? Yeah. Did you like it? No. You know, like Sons of Anarchy, then you probably want a lot of Yellowstone. Yeah, see, okay, well then there you go. See, I even because gave uh, I even gave that show Yellowstone to me is kind of like the, the the cowboy freaking version of Sons of Anarchy. Did you ever see the uh, the Mayans 
that bi- that biker gang, but it was the like. Oh, I, watched uh, the, I watched the first episode of the Mayans. Uh, I need to I need to get back on it because actually I have a friend that's on a uh, a few of the uh, season two. Uh, Trent. Okay. Uh, uh, he's on a couple of episodes, but uh, yeah, I I just I got to rotate my shows, especially doing football basketball season. Most of yeah. the time when I get through my shows, it's during the summer. Gotcha. How much baseball can you watch? I, mean, I, I can't watch any of it. Rangers, you know, it's, yeah. yeah I, usually I put baseball on to go to sleep. Even though I pay attention, I love my Rangers. Go Texas Rangers. But, yeah. Uh, hey, did, did we get any comments uh, tonight? No comments? We had a uh, now school. He said, uh, back when we were talking about the refs and all their calls, he said, football is going to become flag football. You know who said that like 10 years ago? Troy Aikman. That guy. Uh, no, he that, really that's did. Big, that's big coming from a guy that was a, a gymnast in high school. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you got to quit picking on nah, these dead people. No, nah, it's cool. He was, a, uh, he was a gymnast in high school. <laughs> I know you told us. Why is that so funny? <laughs> I just... I just because man, he he was telling us his story, and he was acting like he was this this, this bad boy of, of of high school, and you know, like you know, I was doing this and this and that, da da da, da. and he was like, yeah, man, I had to miss uh, gymnastic practice because I was in Saturday detention. I was like, what? Uh oh, we got another comment in there. Um, Norish, Jersey Shore sucks. Thank you. S M H. Emoji. Shaking my head emoji. Okay. Thank you. I love it. Who, who said that? I don't know. Oh. Norish. Norish. Are you drunk? Am I drunk? Yeah. I'm running the show. How does it how do you pronounce is that how you pronounce it? It says Norish. N O U R I S. Shout out. Okay. Shout out. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Come on, man. Anything anything else before we go? James, anything you want to add? Uh, no, nah, I mean, since, you know, we added you to the uh, lineup tomorrow to the dark side, you know, we're going to have a good show tomorrow. I got a lot to talk about. I don't know if we will or not. What? Pay. Have a good, have a good show. Yep. We'll have a good show. Oh, it'll I'm be gonna, polarizing. I'm trying, I'm trying to get home early, man. So I can, I can tune in. You can yeah. always watch the playback. Hey, we, maybe we'll phone in Wes. Who knows? R E L A X. I don't want to be waiting on nobody though. R E L A X. Sorry, man. I'm on the CPT time, you know? What is that? C- CPT time? Yeah. Color people time, man. You know we late. <laughs> stupid. I ain't gonna get in trouble for that because all my black people know CPT time. It's, it's a thing. No, it's not. I work on it. So I, I try I try to be early just because of the CPT time. I try to make up for all the little black stereotypes. When, when I'm out, like who, I try to be on time. Who says they're yeah. stereotypes? Like, where does that come from? We talking about stereotypes? Yeah, like who's like who says if you're late, it's CPT time? Well, like who says I don't know, that? Oh man, that was way before me. Yeah, uh, okay. You know, I, I found out about CPT time. I'm just like I'm more curious. Like all these things. Like I'm I'm Hispanic, so I like tacos, or I'm Hispanic, so I like hot food, or I'm Hispanic, so I speak Spanish. It's like, how do you know? What if I was like Indian? What if I was? What if I, I, I was Arab? Like I mean, they're still good. But. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, I'm supposed to, you know, all I do is eat fried chicken, watermelon, and grape soda all day. So that would be a horrible diet. <laughs> it would. It'd be a horrible diet, but tastes for good. That first day, it'd be good though. Yeah. Come on. You gotta have the purple drink though. I don't like purple drink. I like purple soda better. Yeah, purple, purple soda. drink is, is is too sweet. It is pretty sweet. Yeah, I, I can't do it. I can't do that anymore. I can't do those real sweet ones anymore. I, man, you talking about? I used to love back in the day, man. We used, used to get that uh, McDonald's uh, high C punch. Uh, Took it out, right? I don't like it, dude. Back in the day, it was money. Now I can't. Ooh, I can't even take a shot of it because it's just too sweet. But back in the day, when you had a little events and you get the little sugar cookie and, and then they give you a cup of that fruit uh high, high C punch Woo, did, hey, did man, you ha- did you have yourself a sugar cookie getter <laughs> a what a sugar cookie getter what is that 
you know, we, you know what? We need to have a, a, a just like a, a highlight uh, reel of James and his uh, uh, what do you call them? impressions? Uh, impressions. Who is that? <laughs> Hey, but you can't just focus on my be, impressions. Uh, you got to talk to from, uh, you can't you can't just you know talk about my fucking ass. You got to talk about Paul too. <laughs> Look, Michael. <laughs> Mike, what was your impression I'm of uh, Canelo knocking out Caleb this past weekend? Oh man, Mike, what did you think? So what did I think? Come on, I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> just make I'm it up. That's it. Hey, uh, I've uh, never seen a boxer. Hurt. I've never seen a boxer as big as Canelo. I literally walked into the arena and I was like, wow, that's such a great boxer. Look, Donald, keep it short <laughs> and sweet. We don't need you going up all verbose over here. Uh, I'll show you short after the show. No, you won't. You'll walk in the room and you'll be like, wow, that's so short. I don't need to know. <laughs> Talk to Melania. I don't need to know this right now. Hey, so what, what do y'all think about, uh, I, I heard that Darren... Williams, uh, the, uh, the basketball player, uh-huh. is fighting Frank Gore. Oh I yeah, heard, yeah. I hadn't heard about this. Frank Gore is now a basketball, yeah. uh, boxing, but he's he's a boxer, not a boxing player. He's a boxer. <laughs> Today, Junior. <laughs> and I didn't know Darren Williams. I mean, you're talking about a, he did. Yeah, Darren Williams. But how tall is Darren, Darren Williams? From the uh, he used to play for the Utah Jazz. Play for Utah Jazz. I think he played for the Mavericks. How tall is he? Uh, uh, he's probably six foot, six one. Oh, he's not like a humongous human. No. Okay, because Frank Gore's five nine, if that. Yeah. Hey, but all these guys, you know, they're going to boxing and all they baby, want. Baby, baby, <laughs> you want baby? I know that. Right. <laughs> Frank Gore probably has more muscle tone though than Darren. Darren Williams didn't really have a lot of. Like muscle. Uh, yeah, Gore will pe- definitely Gore have the some... quick twitch advantage. But, but I, I just, these people that all, all of a sudden think they can go out and actually box because they did some boxing training, they're, they're crazy. Hey, the, uh, these days, man, that's where the money's at, dude. Like, you got Triller, you got all of these, like, small promotions, and they're, they're, they're paying, you know what I mean? So it seems like that's where the money's at. Bunch of bulls. I guess yeah. so. Well, yeah. uh, maybe one day we'll have a Paul versus James uh, boxing match. See how that goes. Nah, that's a, that's. I'm I'm about twelve weight classes out of your league. <laughs> you, uh, we ain't making. That, that'll be the old pride we, fighting days. We ain't making no. We ain't making no catch weight. That'll be I'm the, a, the. I'm a hit. That'll be the early UFC days. Yeah. You'll see Paul running. I'm on his back like that, <laughs> <laughs> just like trying to choke him out. Heck no, Jack. I'm doing. I'm doing Tito Ortiz. That's what I'm doing. You don't I'm move on. like Tito. You gotta be realistic, man. Come oh, on. Oh, this this dude. Right. Okay, okay. I was I was I was I was uh. What do you call it? Realistic. Okay. Like when literally, you, that's what when, happened. I would try and jump you, on your back. When you in that cage, when it's locked up. Look, we're already promoting the fight. Uh, when you when you lock when you <laughs> locked up old. in that cage, you can it's run. Old. But I'm gonna control. I'm gonna have ring generalship if you keep running. Eventually, uh, you are gonna have to get in the mix. Man. I think this is gonna happen. Paul versus James is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be the fight of the year. We'll call Chayo. I'm, I'm Don King. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Y'all also um, it's gonna be on this weekend. Uh, Dark Side of the Mic. We're collaborating with Pops and Shots Podcast, and we're doing a basketball match. And yours. Oh, that's tr- this weekend. Yeah. Uh, November thirteenth, this Saturday, uh, one thirty, two o'clock ish. Um, I'm gonna be playing this guy that I went to school with. For, you're, we got, playing, you're playing basketball. I'm playing basketball. Fifty dollars, <laughs> fifty dollars on the line. It'll be recorded, Wes. You'll yeah. be able to watch. Yeah, you you will be able to watch. Um, I spoke to one of my buddies that keeps in contact with this guy that I'm playing that I haven't seen since high school. Yeah. Um, he told me I'm fucked. He told me all that guy does is play basketball. So really? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I haven't played basketball in a, in a long time. Did so, you play basketball growing up? Um, uh, a little bit. I was out there, you oh, know. Man, I, you, I played like first street. Of all, first, first I played of all, when I asked you, and you said, "Uh, I played street. Nah, I played play. street ball. I played street ball. That's it. I didn't like. I tried out for the school and all that stuff, but I was just like, uh, eh. like I, I just, I just wasn't there like mentally. Like I didn't, I didn't like the idea. Of, you didn't like structure. I didn't like the idea of staying after school because I, I didn't really like going to school. So I was like, why do I have to stay after school? Like this should be included in school. But that was the young me. Now I'm like, of course, I'm like, dude, it's all about the extra that you do, you know. So I was just a dumb young fuck. 
but you know, yeah. Uh, I, was, shoot, I was a playground legend. Hold up, Mr. Tobias. <laughs> yeah, I yes, heard. You're just fucking 6'6 six, six monster. No. Yeah. Well, back then I was, uh, I wasn't. Yeah, and I everybody six, everybody else was 5'4, and you were 6'3. <laughs> That no, wasn't that. Uh, I did, when did I you? A, when did? Yeah. When did you? I when did the disparity? Against other basketball players. When did the disparity occur? When you were just head and shoulders above the tallest teacher in the classroom. I mean, I was pretty much thirteen. In a while. Thirteen, I mean, right? Because teachers aren't usually that tall. I remember. That's my point. Fifth grade, being as tall as you know the teacher. But you were a loving. Shoot. When in fifth grade, yeah. I mean, I remember being as tall as a teacher, but I mean, the teacher, she was only like five, four. So yeah, I mean, she was a full grown woman at five, four. And then, you know, you're uh, an 11 year old kid. Junior, junior high, I wasn't really that much taller than anybody. Uh, I was, I was kind of average actually. And then from eighth grade to ninth grade, that's when I kind of shot up. I had a big summer. I went from, I believe I was five, eight to six, two. That summer, big yeah. nasty. Six four. Then next thing you know, I was six six six. By the time I was uh, twenty, how tall are you now? Six six. Okay, you know you shrink a little. Yeah. Actually, I, I I would like to shrink. I would like to be your size right now because all this height is useless now. I ain't playing basketball. It's like a now, big dummy walking down the road. <laughs> yeah, you know if, if I was. If, I would love to be five six, especially like if you're going on a plane or if you're in a car, or just you know other stuff. I mean, it, yes, I can reach the top shelf, but man, you you get on a plane, dude, it's roomy for you. For me, man, it's miserable. Do your feet dangle um, when you get on the plane? I've only been on a plane once. When you get on a stool, do your feet dangle? When I get on a stool? Yeah, you know, like you get the bar, like you see the stool? stool. Yeah, your feet dangle. Yeah, they they don't hit that rung. Yeah, they hit the rung. Oh, they okay. rest on that bar that's on the bottom, but they don't hit the floor. My, my feet are on the ground. My feet are on the ground too, just because I'm fat, though. <laughs> so I kind of keep one foot. I got to keep three. I got to keep five points of contact. So I got four on the chair, and I got one with my leg. Because okay, big boy on the ground. That's that's hard to get up. I'm just saying. Are you, are you on a stool or are you on the chair? I'm on a stool. I got, so, I got one. I got one foot on the ground, and I got four feet on the chair on the stool. You gambling? Yeah, but if I got a five, <laughs> if I have a five foot stool, I'm golden. I'm just propped up there, just CID. Yeah. You know, we ran that scam at a bar. We used to go to this bar all the time in San Antonio, and me and my buddy, we would like just sit close to the door, and we would be drinking, and we would be just like kind of, we'd be like canted towards the door right just like kind of facing the door and people would come in and the first thing they see is me and i'd be like let me see your id let me see your id and yeah, they would just hand them over trying to pick up chicks aren't you? no 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 <laughs> what we were doing was scouting so we would scout them all right all right, all right. and then we see who are the lushes we see and then we'd be like okay Daniel, if you oh, why did I say that? Name? <laughs> I didn't say the last. Come name. on, Wes, you calling out people still? So if you're gonna go get, if you're gonna go holler at this chick and be like, dude, you gotta get there, you gotta get there early because she gets sloppy late. So you know, and then it never worked out. What yeah. is going on? I, I I got a little distracted. I just heard some chick getting sloppy, and then, of course, nah, you see, you, you just you hopping in the mix, you're just gonna totally kill the buzz. That's what this. He's reading his mess. Oh, all that. God forsaken cup. Hey, do you have hair? <laughs> Me? Oh, damn. Yeah, do you have hair? <laughs> I just haven't seen you. I haven't seen your hair in a long time. I wouldn't know what you were doing with it. Whoa, you looking like Jane Brown. Spin 180. Let's see if you got, let's see if you got it all the way around. <laughs> I, I got to get a fresh face. Living in America. <laughs> da, da, da. Yeah, man, you Jane Brown right now. Shoot. Just get you one of them. Fly tailor made suits and get you the cape. Gotta get you a cape guy though. Put the cape on when you do the kneel. Not me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, he, the special. cape guy is about your size. <laughs> I'm gonna have to <laughs> jump a little bit, throw it over. Well, when he does the kneel, that's that's boom right there. Just drape it over. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I might be tempted to wrap that, you know, rear naked choke on his ass. Your arms aren't big enough, bro. Once you get under that neck, that's it. 
Okay. Wow. Okay. So have cool. you seen Have you seen Wes in in person? I have not. Have you seen pictures of Wes next to normal humans? I have not. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I mean, are you, his are shoulders you His shoulders are a little bit. His shoulders are a little smaller than mine, and I'm just fat. A trainer. And Wes works out every day. You work, I, you work, I see that. Wes, you work it every day. I try to. Yeah, I, work, he, I probably work out uh, five to six times a week. Do you work out every day, or is it you go work out to see if you can run into Tony Dorsett again and fangirl? <laughs> I mean, I just want to know. No, man, I, I'm trying to work out just to, just to stay healthy. <laughs> you all right there, buddy? No, you don't. <laughs> God damn. You all right there? <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I'm not... I'm not throwing around a bunch of weight, man. These, I see dudes in the gym, these, these younger guys, man, they throw about a, a bunch of weight, but my old bones can't take it. You know, I'm just, I'm just trying to get, look, look healthier. Word, word. All right, guys, I think that's the show. We're going to wrap it up. Uh, catch James tomorrow on Dark Side of the Mic. Yeah, another comment from Norris. <laughs> Laughing my ass off emojis. Yeah, he put them up there pretty good. Shout out to Norris. I don't know if he was laughing at me or at Wes wonder, or at that, James. I wonder who that is. Yeah. I, I, I can't figure out the. Uh, I don't know who it is. I was trying to look that, up, but uh, th- thanks for the uh, for the for the subscription and uh, also you know thanks for the comments. Appreciate on all that, man. Yeah. Hey sure. Norris, where are you from? If you're still watching, just put uh, the state you live in or the country you live in. Yeah. Appreciate it. That'll let us. That'll kind of let us know. There, he's not really going to get this until like five, ten seconds later. But it's all good. Uh, until next week, Wednesday, we'll see how our picks did on this Sunday, and we'll see you then. Catch us tomorrow, on Dark Side of the Mic. We out. Peace. Head on over to Spotify. Search Paul Rodriguez Show. You'll see the little logo pop up. Give us a follow. Turn on. Notif- head on. Head on. Head on. Head on over to Spotify, search Paul Rodriguez Show. You'll see the little logo pop up. Give us a follow, turn notifications on, that way you don't miss any.